guys, your boy Hayes the Gamer is coming at you guys with a how to set up your OBS. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me, Hayes, how do you set up your OBS? What are you using? How do I set this thing up, man? Well, look no further, guys. I will be showing you how I set up my setup in OBS. Now, keep in mind that, man, everybody has their own way of how they set it up. You know, so you can choose to pick how I pick it to set up. But, man, you should definitely go your own route, man, to see how you set it up. So, without further ado, smack a like on this video. No like goal. Just leave a like, man. Let me know if you find this video very, very helpful for you. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you won't miss out on anything. So, without further ado, let's hop right into it. So, now, as you guys can see right here, you see these things that say scenes or sources. So, basically, this scene is this. Is, I'm in a scene right now. Created a scene. Just named the scene. So, basically, the source. Sources are the different things that I will add. I'll be showing you guys how I add my green screen, my camera, my gameplay, my overlay, my donation alerts, my sub alerts, and all that other good stuff. So first things first, man, you want to add your gameplay. And you always got to have this Elgato icon or app open. So what I do is I go to window capture. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just capturing a specific window that is open on my computer. So I'm going to name this one Elgato. So once I rename it Elgato, I'm gonna go here. Okay, so now that I have now that I have found it, guys, I'm here with the Elgato in scene one. Just go here, name it Elgato, boom, open it up. And I just do something like this. I just drag it the way it snaps to my screen, the way it is. Then I go to my Elgato, and all I would do on my Elgato is I would make this full screen. Then after that, what I would do is I would go to hide my sidebar and um Let's go back to OBS. As you guys can see, it looks a bit crazy, so I do need to tweak it just a little bit. That way it doesn't show up like that. Again, man, this Mac is such a complicated setup, guys, so you guys got to work with me right now. So basically what I just did was just snap it right here and drag it to the corners. That way, now I have my gameplay up, guys, so the next thing that I'm going to put is my video capture device. So basically what I'm doing here... I want to go to video capture device. This is going to be my web camera. I'm going to nickname it Logitech because I have the Logitech C920. You can use whatever camera that you want. Um, like I said, I'm using a Logitech C920 um, uh, Pro webcam. And one of, one of the first things I'm going to do, you guys see I got my green screen in the back, so I will be showing you guys how I set up my green screen here in a minute. So here we go. We're going to go to Logitech. You right click it. And once you right click it, you go to filters. You go to effect filters and you go right here. You want to add a crop so I could crop out the white parts on my wall um, from my green screen. So I have everything written down with how I had it. So basically I had this one at 275. You see how it took out the whole left side of it. Then one another thing that I would do is go do this side of 275 as well and leave that bottom at zero. So what I would do is I would shrink it down. And once I shrunk it down, boom, it's right here. Now another thing that I would do is I would go to add my filters again. Hit the add sign. Go to add chroma key. Chroma key is another word for saying green screen. So again, tweak this one to your own likings. Make sure you tweak it to according to how you like it. And as you guys can see, look, man, I'm disappearing already, man. So this is how I do it right here, man. You know, you could adjust it to however you want it. You guys see, I can set the brightness to however I want it. But, you know, I'm not that bright, so I'm just going to set it about to right there. So, now, you could change the direction of the camera. All you would do is you go here, go to transform, and just flip vertical. You can turn it upside down. You can turn it. Let me turn it back upside down because I don't want it that way. You can flip it vertical. Then, like, let's say my game, my TV for my gaming is to my left. But if your game is to your right, you might want to flip it uh, horizontally. So that's how I set up my green screen. So now the next thing that I would set up is the alert. So basically what you would do is you would go here, open up a browser source. I named this one sub alert. Sub alert. Okay, boom. This is how you see when somebody subs, it pops up. So what you want to do is you want to go to Streamlabs 
uh, just sign in with your YouTube or your Twitch page or whatever the case is and you guys see where it has all of these check boxes five check boxes right here and what I would do is I would copy this one copy this um, and paste it go right here and paste it right into here on the browser source paste it here now you guys see it has disappeared I drag mine to the bottom right hand corner and I shrink it you know and I always use this for guidance man that way it's not looking so big and how do you know if it's gonna work let's just test the do uh, let's just test the subscription and as you guys can see boom it's right there you could also test the donation alert as well that one didn't work so what I would do if it doesn't work I would then go and like they have different um, URLs for it but I will get to that in a second so the next thing would be my donation ticker how do people how do you see the recent donators man basically it just scrolls around the bottom of the screen so what I would do is I would go here and I will add another browser source and I'm just gonna name with this one donation ticker that way you guys can see it scrolling same deal man I go here to Streamlabs I go to donation ticker I go here the URL copy it and I will go back into OBS and paste it into here normally you guys would see something scrolling around the bottom parts right here but what I would do is I would like line it up with my webcam that way you guys can see it pretty good so I will make it like a little bit smaller so that it works so right now you don't see I don't know why but normally you will see it scrolling around the bottom left of my stream seeing who donated the last person to donate so the next one is my sub count so how do I add my sub count basically you go here you add another browser source and I'm gonna name it uh, sub count can't spell right now but sub count so everybody knows man you go to livecounts.net just to get your sub count all you do is you copy the URL and then you go back into OBS then you paste it in there boom now you guys see my sub count up here and basically what you would do how do I get it to look so small what I would do what I do is I go right here and I go back to filters and I add a crop that way you guys can see how small it looks and like that way so um, basically I'm looking at my paper that I had it written down on so I had this one just tweak it to your likings um, yeah that's all you gotta do so tweak it to your likings as this one was 212 and the right side was 250 no it was 249 my bad and uh, this one was 298 bang that's it right there boom now that I have my sub count you guys see it sitting at the top of the screen I shrink it down and I just drag it boom that's how I do it right there just drag it and now you guys can see the sub count on how many subs do I get and all that other stuff if you want to make it bigger you can that's what I do I make it a little bit bigger and the next thing would be my overlay so you guys already know uh, y'all who are sub you guys know what my overlay is so all you do you go back to the ad sign you add an image so this would be named overlay right here bang boom so you would like find the image from your uh, computer people uh, they, they make these for you and um Photoshop, you know, there are people out there that can make it for, for you and other people who um, Who can teach you how to excuse me teach you how to do it yourself. So what I would do I go here Add my overlay boom now my overlay is in here now. So this is how you guys see the overlay I shrink it down and I bring it up to like right here That's how you guys see it at the top of my streams when I play 2k and um, all that other good stuff so that's the next one and last but not least is my donation alert so go back here add a browser source I name it donation alert again guys this is just how I have mine set up 
so just go back to Streamlabs again log in with your YouTube page or your YouTube login whatever it is and you just go right back to your alert box you see how you guys have all of these checked up here so what I would do is I uncheck all of them then I copy the URL right here then what I would do next is I would go here and paste it paste it in there now I have my donation alert that way every time somebody donates it pops up so let's test the donation you guys can see it worked it worked so that is how I set up the stream guys again this is just like a setup if you guys want to go into like the more technical settings of bitrate audio bitrate and all that other stuff general streams I will get into that later now how do I stream it to YouTube so basically you go here you click on your streaming services you have different options YouTube twitch um, daily motion Facebook live restream um, IO whatever the case is you go here boom and then like you have a stream key so how do you know what your stream key is basically you go here you go to your YouTube dashboard live dashboard on your creative studio and you go here down to the bottom and you guys see where it says stream key I don't want to reveal it to you guys because somebody could actually get that and basically have my live stream running from their channel so I don't want to leak it so you copy you copy this stream key you hit reveal you copy it and you go right back to OBS and you paste it in here click apply then click OK and then you just stream the YouTube then it'll work um, as I said guys if you guys want me to go more in depth about the stream the output the audio video hotkeys in advance let me know down in the comment section I will let you guys know about how I have that set up guys so if you all have enjoyed this video Please be sure to smack a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notifications if you haven't already. I love you guys. Make sure to share this video. Until next time, peace out.